Hello ladies and germs. Uh, today we have a really big guitar. No, wait. Oh, oh, we have a small guitar. Actually, it's a regular size guitar. It is. Oh, sir. Bless you. Made in California. This one uh, is pretty much brand new. Uh, it comes uh, slightly aged uh, in relic. It's Pepto Pink, Pepto Bismol Pink Bubblegum. Uh, customer would like some locking tuners. And we happen to have in stock some fenders, some nice fenders there the locking knob and the annoying two pins I hate these things however we have a jig Brown's Guitar Factory anyway uh, this will uh, facilitate the uh, alignment of those holes in relationship to the collar there. All right. All right, well, I've never used it before, so let's give it a try. Now this guitar originally came with Fender style kidney bean tuners here, so let's get to it. Now, <clears throat> we're going to get these out. I don't know how tight they are. Uh, in most cases, you would uh, um, do something. I see that they're, these holes are inset precisely um, for the width of that uh, knurled section of this, which bites into the wood and holds it in place. Okay. And... It is very precision here. So when you tap them out from the back, uh, it has happened more than once that the wood will tear out here because these knurled uh, shafts uh, in the collar here um, grab onto the wood too tightly and the wood will blow out. Now this is uh, pretty much a new guitar. Uh, that would really suck. So, oh, it might move. It might. This might not be bad, actually. Look at that. See, it's tilting. Okay. Well, I'm gonna see what happens without heating it up. Oh, okay. Well, that wasn't bad at all. I was just, I was anticipating a fight. Oh yeah. No problem. Okay, so we're not going to heat this up. We don't really need to. These come out very easily. And I'm not hitting very hard either. It's just being very gentle. Okay, so we need to ream these holes open. I do, do not use a drill. It is way too violent. Um, this is a, actually a violin peg reamer. And we'll start with that because these are smaller holes here. And when we get to near the end here, we'll switch over to this. And uh, we should be able to get about the right width somewhere around there. I'm going to measure it with a, my... Uh, calipers and I'm going to tape it off so we don't go too deep. We'd like it to fit snugly if possible. Okay, sorry for the background noise. Right there. Man, it's noisy in here. Today, that's good. Now bear in mind when you're doing this, it's not to 
push down on the reamer. Um, it's really not necessary. Let the tool do the work. Put it in there and put a little bit of pressure to get it started. And it'll pretty much um, do the work for you. But don't push down or don't rush it. Um, just let the tool do it. Cut naturally. Just you do the twisting, baby. Let the tool do the work. And I'm going to switch over to our big reamer. Same thing. And I'm just going to go up to that tape. Okay, I've made room for more memory. I was running out of memory there. <laughs> That's what happens when you get old, you know. Alright, got a line to go by here with the tape. And. Okay, that's about right. Okay, we only need to go down about an eighth of an inch for those posts. So, uh, about that much should be good. Pretty snug. So we'll drill these first and then we'll open them up with a slightly larger drill. Okay, we're going to open these up a little bit. Doesn't take much when you get towards the end there. There we go. Okay, that feels nice and snug, but not almost flush there. Open these up a little more. Cause this runs a little small, so <clears throat> good.
that case, I can I can experiment. But, but the problem is, 